Now, as we have already plugged OpenSense in our network, in previous video, we have already seen that I got the IP address from the new DHCP server from the OpenSense. And now this OpenSense is ready to be configured using the web user interface. Let us continue now. And I'll show you here, our user ID was root and password that we set up by ourselves while doing the installation. The moment you log in on the main dashboard, you will see the quick statistics of firewall, quick statistics of traffic, upload and download. Here you can see all the services. Here you can see the interface statistics, WAN and LAN. And here you can see the system configuration or system performance. This is the system information here. This is the memory and the disk. Here is the gateway information and here is the announcement that comes from there. Of course, this is from RSS feed. We can change it later also. And down here, you can see the CPU usage. So here we can see uh, the dashboard and then the license information. It is built on the PFSense. And here password, you want to change the password of your uh, root account. So you can change it from here. And in case you want to log out, you will log out from here. So I'll log in again with the root and password. A reporting will show you health of the system where you can see all the services which are running here in system you can see the access who can access it user group privileges uh, servers so we'll look at all the aspects configuration you can see the backup and defaults and history and then firmware in case you want to see the firmware status you want to check for the latest updates you can do it from here change log packages plugins and all of that so the menu is available status settings change log updates and from here also you can see all the packages of course these are the installed packages then you can of course add new packages or plugins also from here we will see that as well so here you can go to gateway right now our gateway is of course configured with is van gateway in case we'll be adding more gateways here through open uh, vpn and so on so we'll be looking at that as well so in case you want to add the monitor ip here for example 10.11.12.1 which is my gateway and here i will say save so it will show me whether it is able to reach to this and in case you want to monitor for specific ip for example if the gateway is connected to internet so i want to make sure that it is able to ping 1.1.1.1 apply the changes here and then you can of course have the gateway groups also here here is high availability you can do the setting of high availability we will do that also in the next videos routes of course you can create the static routes also here so i will show you that also how you can add a new route and what will be the next gateway and so on so we will be looking at these aspects as well. Snapshots, you can of course take the backup and all of that. And then trust, you can of course create the authorities, you can create the certificates and all of that. A wizard, you can run the wizard. It will help you to choose the interface, do the settings and all of that. So here you can see then the audit, backend, a boot and web GUI log is available here in case you want to see that. Interfaces, these are all the LAN interface and WAN interface. I can say it connected to internet gateway apply the changes here and then is the LAN interface uh, home network there is no gateway on this of course this is the LAN interface apply the changes so its name will be saved also here you can see here this is the connected to the internet gateway and my home network then is the assignment in case you have additional network interface cards so you can assign it from here as well in case you want to swap the network interface cards to van and lan you can do it from here as well in the devices you can of course reach a new device to any existing lan we will see that as well these are some general settings in case you have the wireless configuration this can be used as wi-fi access point as well then is firewall you can of course define the rules shapers then is the vpn configuration open vpn and wireguard both configuration can be done over here which i will explain you services in case you want to run the captive portal and these are different services kia dhcp and then is power in case you want to reboot or turn off so this was the user interface of course here on left side you can see all these menus whatever aspect you want to configure you will be going here and configuring that open sense is ready you can see all these services here dhcp service cron job is running configuration is running packet filtering is running unbound dns is running and web gui is running and uh, you can monitor the traffic on real time here. Let us continue to next video now where we'll configure each and everything one by one and we'll also use the advanced tools. Let us continue to next video now.